Okay, so Wolves have beaten Everton two goals to one at Molyneux. Seen out a bit of a, a shaky to the last 20 minutes, which is something they couldn't do against Leeds. In what feels like a really big win for Wolves and Bruno Large, it's probably the best performance of the season bar the first three, but it actually had some goals and some points in it. A game that had, I guess we learnt from the Leeds game, I thought we saw it out a lot better. And there was a lot of good storylines. Obviously, Matt's coming getting his first goal and Raul Jimenez scoring his first um, goal back at Molyneux. And I think the one big takeaway from this is we found our best 11 now. You know, there's always been the whole Marcel Aitnuri thing. Dendonka kind of had two or three good games and people were questioning whether he should start. And obviously, um, Huang's forced himself in with his goals. And then I think Trinkau has kind of earned his place now. And I think this is... Obviously, I'm sure we'll switch to a back four at some point, but this is our settled 11 now. And look, I'm not saying this was like the perfect performance or anything. I think Everton did well to get back into the game. Um, you know, I, I was surprised that XG had, actually had the game basically the even. Um, obviously, that happens all the time, right? If if you're if you're tuning up for half the game, you're going to sit back. And that means the other team can have more shots and, you know, XG will um, kind of catch up to that. But I think we did well. Uh, maybe, maybe this is just me. Maybe it's just I'm getting a bit older, but... I never really felt like we were going to concede. You know, I saw some people uh, on Twitter kind of saying um, that we're kind of getting a bit worried and saying that maybe Bruno Lage can't manage games. when, And I can understand why based on the Leeds game last week, but uh, uh, the Alex Wobey goal for me, like I rewatched the highlights and it deflected off Connor Cody. It was like some really, it was like a, it was a bang average shot from um, Ben Godfrey. Deflected off Connor Cody, went back to Wobey, hits it in. Joseph Sarr was blindsided, but I think it was Max Kilman maybe. But it was a lucky goal. It wasn't. It wasn't like some individual error or some great play from Everton. It was just kind of a lucky goal. And I think we actually saw out the game pretty well. And we had big chances. Um, obviously, Trinkau's finishing needs to improve. Um, Huang probably needs to hold on to the ball better. And we probably need to create some more big chances for Raul. Bar the the head away hit the post, we didn't really create any. But ultimately, a win's a win. And you know, we're seventh in the Premier League right now, and we're performing to expected points. It's not like we're getting really lucky or getting really unlucky. We're performing to our level. We deserve to be seventh. And obviously, we still got to play some of the big boys, and that's completely fair. We haven't played Liverpool Man City yet. And, you know, that I guess has to be taken into account. But I wouldn't be scared of playing Man City or Liverpool right now. We're in a really healthy position. And it's, it's kind of it's kind of ironic how we've just overtaken Nuno, Nuno's Tottenham move. Well, not Nuno anymore. Um, but I think, I think um, the first half was obviously amazing. There was a lot of good moments. And that kind of just, it felt like the um, the first three games of the season. And I think Trincao brings that out. I think, I'm not saying it's just Trincao, by the way, but every player on this pitch had a good game. Ruben Neves was amazing. Um, I thought Max Kilman was really good, as was Conor. I think Conor Cody and Roman Tace deserve some credit, you know. You know, I don't think they get any praise from our fan base when they do well, because they're a bit boring and they've been here for ages. But when they do bad, everyone's kind of first to jump on them. And... Um, I think that's a bit. Unf- I feel like those guys can't really win, but I think the thing I like about Trincao is Semedo's always better when Trincao's in front of him, and I can kind of understand why. Like, obviously, I'm not a professional footballer; I've never played to any level. But if I had a Darmaturi in front of me as a fullback, I'd be absolutely terrified because he's not the most intelligent, right? And Semedo was in- really good today. Uh, eight Nuri was class. You know, I think I think that that Marcel Eight Nuri debate. It's settled now. If if Marcel comes back into the side, I'll be very disappointed. Um, in Bruno Lage, look, he can do what he wants in it. He's the manager, and I trust him. But for me, Eight Nuri's won that spot. I'm not. Even, I'm not even saying he's being. I thought he was way better than he was today against Leeds, by the way. But I just think the way we were pressing in that first half, the way we were knocking the ball around, it was one touch or two touch. It was quick. Eight Nuri brings that out. Obviously, Jamsino and Ruben can do that. I think Nelson Smedo can do that. But I think Marcel, he just slows it down so often. And Aitnuri really kind of just makes it a bit more dynamic. Obviously, when we do lose the ball in high areas, it's kind of just free on free. But I, I don't think us all sports fans really mind that happening, assuming, you know, the football's decent. Um, obviously, we had a lot of chance in the first half. Max Gilman got the goal. It was nice to see Aitnuri put in a good cross um, from the corner. An outswinger. You know, I was looking at um, some of the stats in the first half. And um, uh, oh, sorry, I was looking at some stats and like corners. We're actually the team that have taken the least in swinging corners, and we've taken like the most out swinging ones as a percentage. So it's clearly a tactical thing. It's working. Aitnuri seems to be a better deliverer of the ball than Jamatinho. 
which is fine. Again, another reason to put in Rainey and Nuri. And it was really nice to see Kilman score a header because Kilman's um, like aerial win rate is always or aerial um, aerial duels won. It's always been really low. Like it's getting better to be fair to Max uh, Kilman. Like last season it was about one point six. Now it's at about two. So he's he's getting better. And although he is twenty four and he's massive, he's what like six three six four. That's a aerial w- win rate is always something that's quite low in young centre backs. I, I know Max Kilman's not young. He's like twenty. He's nearly twenty five, but. He's played, what, 50 games for Wolves? You know, Morgan Gibbs White's probably nearly played 100, and he's 21. So he's probably, in terms of his level, he's probably a 21-year-old centre-back, really. And I think that's the only weakness in Kilman. It was really nice to see him score in front of Gareth Southgate as well. I'm not bothered if Max Kilman comes to an England international. I couldn't care less. I don't know why Wolves fans are so bothered about him being an England international. Uh, if it happens, it happens, isn't it? But I'm not particularly bothered whether he gets in or not. Um, but this was just a... This was just a really nice game. Obviously, the last few minutes were a bit stressed for some people, but it was, it was probably the most well-rounded performance overall in terms of it, it had the good football, it had the good goals, but it also had points at the end of it. And that's what you want. It felt like a nice balance. This first 11 clearly is our best 11. We don't need to touch it. Um, and that's harsh on Pedence, that's harsh on Traore, that's harsh on Willy Bolly. But this is a settled 11 now. We've got a good run of games. Hopefully we can kind of stay. I'm not saying we're going to stay seventh, but I think if we can stay between tenth and sixth, that sort of range, and get through some of those hard fixtures, January is really important because if we can get to that stage and you can bring in a Renato Sanchez or a Sven Botman and level up this side, I'm not saying we're going to get Europe, especially if Conte coming to Tottenham and Arsenal looking better than West Ham, obviously. But it could be a really positive end to the season, and we can forget Nuno Ball and just have a fun season. I think that's all people really want now. We're back in the stadium, but. Overall, good game. Deserved to win the game. Everton were woeful, but we took advantage. We played a lot of woeful teams last season and we didn't take advantage. Um, So, yeah, I have no real complaints. I thought we were really good today. And it's nice to see us have a settled 11. And obviously nice for Ryan and Max Kilman as well. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. uh, Like the video. And, yeah, peace.